And welcome back, this is Baldur's Gate with another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 1. I'm joined as always by my trusty team of Fallout, Luke, Finney, and Novin. We are in the tower. The Mystic Tower to be specific. We're on the second floor, so let's go up to the third floor. What's here? Nothing. Nothing. There is a huge room in the middle here, but, you know, nothing when we first get up here. Okay, we do have uh, worms here. They're upgraded wyverns. Um, you know, this is the wyvern. These are the worms. Um, yeah, they're upgraded, so who knows what they're going to be bringing our way. Uh, I believe... I believe... They're weak to bolt, so I'm going to use that on them because they're flying enemies and I'm using Pokemon logic. Get over it. Um, they're, they're not very strong, apparently. Oh, there we go. There's some damage. And the gauntlets do... Eh, not as nearly as much damage as I would like. Okay, so here's... Uh, now, what makes this game a lot easier now? Now that I have two healing items. You know, Luke and Fallout can finish the job easily by themselves, so why not just get an extra turn of healing? Why waste uh, Novin's turn going for an attack that's not going to kill the guy, you know? So now I'm double healing, getting getting that HP really back up, and that's how I keep, uh, keep everybody so high. Oh, and I get a level up. Sweet. Up to level 33? Yeah, 33. Okay, let's see what's in this giant room here. Eh. Oh, scripted battle. Against a blue dragon. What? Yeah, we're gonna keep healing. And then, uh, uh... Let's do it. Let's flare this guy. Because we haven't had a chance to flare yet, and I want to see the epicness that is flare. Do we get a chance? No, Luke finished him off. How dare you steal Novin's thunder, Luke? I was gonna let him use flare. It was gonna be awesome, but no. Eight hit combo. Death. Warp to the flying fortress with the warp cube. Yes, this is as far as you can get in this dungeon without the warp cube. So, um, if you made here earlier, congratulations on all your treasures thus far. But that's as far as you're gonna get. So up we go into the flying fortress. Do we have new enemies here in the Flying Fortress? We do? I think we we might have seen these before, but I'm not sure. Um, if we did, we only saw one, so let's keep it in. Uh, you attack him, see if you can finish him off. I don't think these guys are very strong. Unless they do a two-hit combo, good lord! Why is everybody picking on Finny? What did Finny ever do? She didn't even hit you or nothing. Now you're picking on Novin. I see how it is. Oh, three hit combo for 15 damage. That's not going to cut it. Neither is Fallout's attack, really? Where's that healing helm? There it is. So two attacks is enough to take him out. Damn it! Luke, you attack so soon. Now I can't heal. Oh, see, that's that's been my problem this whole time. Man, are they giving me a lot of gill, but I don't think I can use that anymore. What's in this room down here? A fight. And I just noticed something. Luke's HP is 666. Luke is the devil at level 33. And we find the Venom Blade in here. I don't know what that is. Oops. Not magic equipment. I assume that the, the Sun Blade's going to outrank it. Yeah. But it does have uh, the poison effect. I'm not sure if I can use that in battle, but if I can... That'd be awesome. And the answer is yes! You can use the Venom Blade as an instant death item in this game. Is this an... We haven't seen an evil eye in forever. Let's show how easy this is. Okay, I don't even... I don't even need to use everybody to attack him. This is, this is how I leveled up and got all that magic and all that good stuff. Are you ready? This guy was so hard. He had like two attacks. And he, and he gives so much experience. Yeah, 806 experience, 3,225 gold for a one-hitter quitter. Come on, man. Oh, that guy was broken. Okay, that's the entrance. Let's go to the left. 
Because I want some more treasure and I have a 3 out of 4 chance of getting... Oh, we have an upgraded Black Knight here. He's a he's a Doom Knight. and Just for posterity's sake, let's use Luke on him just in case. Luke, of course, is doing much more damage. And uh, why not show off the, the Venom Blade? Why not show it off? We'll see if uh, we get any kills with it. You know, it's, it's poison. But, yeah, no, we didn't get a kill. I, I have been getting pretty lucky with it lately, but, you know, not this time. Not when I want to do it on camera. No, when I do it off camera, it works just fine. And I get one kill, or two kills. No, no, oh, you want to use it? You want to show it off? No, screw you. It doesn't work anymore. Yeah, I hate you trying to use the items and then they don't even get to use it because they killed everything beforehand. Oh, look at all this. 7,900 gil. I bet this is a scripted battle. Yeah, I knew it. Knew it. And it's just a bit against Black Knights. So what do we get that for that battle? We get Gil, Gil, and I can't hold. I can't hold anymore. So it's got to be a potion, right? Uh, you need a potion. Yep, potion. So yay, potion for a scripted battle. And we have a spirit Naga here. It's an upgraded. Naga, um, you know, just, just heal your, just heal everybody. You know, with these healing items, it's pretty easy to go through this game. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie; those items have made things so much easier for me. Down you go, down you go. One, one hit of quitters, but we get so much gill for what we're doing here. And once again, you know, we've been to every town on the continent. What's left? In case you are wondering, on normal mode, the level cap is 50. So I still have quite a ways to go before I've hit the max level. If you go on easy mode, it does go all the way up to 99, though. We have much more treasure over here. We got a little bit amount of gill, a protect ring, which we already have four of, more gill, another, he uh, another healing helm. Okay, so now I have three healing spells, exactly what I needed. Yeah, this is one of the few games that I know of that if you look for every single thing in the game, it makes the game a lot easier for you. And, you know, there's, there, I'm sure there's other games like that, but this is the only one that comes to mind right now. And good lord, we found another one of those eight-sided floors. So let's just go around it kind of clockwise-ish. Oh, or we could take on an upgraded whirlwind known as an Eros. Whatever. Uh, I assume that this guy, once again, are going to be, these guys are going to be pretty weak, so I don't need to focus on doing attacks or any kind of attacking spells, anything like that. I assume that my attackers can one-shot them. Seven hit for the win. Five hit for the win. And they're not even going to attack in. I feel so over-leveled for this place, but really it's just because of my healing items. Alright, what do we got? I got a cottage and a mithril helm. A mithril helm, really? So I'm going kind of counterclock. And there we go, I'm back to full HP thanks to that battle against a chimera, which was kind of weird. We saw those earlier. Holy crap, 13,000 gil. Here we go, here's an upgrade enemy. We've got manticores here. Ugh. I hate when the thing gets all sticky on me. So I'm just going to try to poison them because, you know, why not go for the instant death spell now that it's free, costs nothing. I didn't expect the... I didn't expect the healing stuff to go first. Okay, I don't know if these poison darts actually kill me, what they're supposed to do. Oh, I got one. That's that's not bad. I'll take just one. A thousand and one damage. There we go. We broke the thousand barrier. And poison darts, I assume they just poison? Please? Okay, because my poison kills. Just for the record. Uh, I have plenty of antidotes. And then, uh, you can use the healing staff. Why not? We'll switch it up. Or Luke can just finish it before you get a chance to. Either way. Yeah, 1317 experience. Man, I'm just getting so much experience. And down over what do we get? I want some good treasure. Don't give me a potion, though. No potions. 
We've got a small little room here, and all it's got is... Oh, it's an epic item! We get the Animantide. In the original game, it's known as Adamant, but in all the subsequent Final Fantasy games, it's known as Animantite, so they just kind of corrected that in this one as well. Now, do you remember the dwarf, the blacksmith in, uh... The dwarf in the underground cave where we got... where we used the Nitro Power? Rally-ho! And then they jump. Well, if you go there now and hand him the Animantite, he can make you something awesome! But I don't need to do that right now. What I do need to do is get these guys some awesome armor. The white robe. Robe with invisibility to effect. Yeah. And you need the black robe. I know the evasion goes down by one, but whatever. He's wearing it. So's Finny. They're wearing their robes. That's what they do. So we've got two more treasure rooms to go into. Here's another one. This place is huge compared to the other. And in here we have just two treasure chests. We have a diamond shield and a fight. Is this scripted? No. But what do we get for that battle? We get a third ribbon, which I do want to get onto Novin. Okay. Oh, finally, we do have another new enemy here. This is a stone golem, as opposed to the other golems that we have seen. I'm, um, once again, just confusing my basic fighting strategy here, and hope that if I need to heal, they attack me first. And no, I can't finish them off. And there goes a useless healing staff use. Awesome. Oh, wow, 40 damage. And then he uses slow on me. That's not cool. Eh, I don't think I should fall out. That's not too bad. Just one person. Alright, now use the healing staff. Use the healing helm as well, because why not use both? Now that he lost 40 HP, because he's not going to recover all 40 at one go. See, I mean, look at this. The healing items are, are almost overpowered, and I almost feel bad using them. Really? Yeah, that's what slow really does, is it gets rid of your combos. It doesn't really make you slower. But that's alright. We finish them anyways. Okay, one more treasure. And that's the one in the northeast. Let's see what's inside that. If the game will let me inside. Okay, what do we have? More diamond gloves. And I don't believe there's really any more. No, we're keeping on the right white robe. I don't care. Yeah, I figured. I don't care what the ruby armlet does. You're keeping on the robes, damn it! Okay, now to go the only direction that we haven't gone before, which is straight down. Yeah, you can skip all this stuff if you want, but I would not recommend it, especially that adamant. And that looks like it's going to do it for this part. When we continue, we will make our way up the Sky Fortress to fight Tiamat, who we know is at the top. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, this part. Hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.